Bethany Maples Krogstad. I'm the head of marketing for Quid. Quid is a business intelligence platform. We're taking big data. We are using uh, algorithms, artificial intelligence, combining that with a custom physics engine to deliver an immersive, kind of playful interaction with big data that delivers better insights for people asking strategic questions. That sounds really complicated. So in a nutshell, all this information is out there in the world. You guys are taking it, crunching it, giving us the ability to do something useful with it, in it's, a nutshell. So we're making big data accessible. We believe that if data isn't delivered in a fun and intuitive way, it's not fully engaging your intellect. So we've built an engine that allows strategic thinkers to go deep into different subjects. Talk to me about industries. Who are you working with? So we work with strategic advisors, leaders from major companies all over the world. Um, we focus our internal um, research on industries that we think are ripe for disruption, including payments, hardware, and of course transportation. Let's talk about transportation. So in the transportation industry, we are seeing uh, an industry that we think is ripe for disruption from non-traditional players. Uh, Quid regularly tracks share of voice, uh, you know, patents, scientific papers, innovation, funding. Uh, you know, what, what are the things that are happening in an industry that's going to you know, drive in a new direction? And interestingly, what we're seeing in the hardware space is a threat from non-traditional competitors. So for example, Google owns the share of voice in what the future of the car is going to be, followed closely by Ford, followed by Toyota. So now we understand why Google owns that voice, but a year ago you would have expected Tesla to. A year ago Tesla didn't even register in terms of what was being amplified and shared out in the media. Recently, they've obviously kind of come onto the world stage, more people are understanding what they're gonna do, how that relates to you know their ability to practically go out and drive a beautiful machine. That's interesting, and obviously Google's getting into this, some of this stuff quite literally. We're talking about self-driving cars and, <clears throat> and things like that. Do we see down the line some kind of a, uh, I don't know if I want to use the word merger, but there's going to be a lot of overlap between some of these tech companies and some of the traditional car companies. How do you see that playing out as we uh, progress through the 21st century? So we are already seeing um, some interesting innovation and potential threats from non-traditional players in the transportation industry. Specifically, we're seeing players like AT&T, Nokia, Honeywell, Samsung, Sony invest in IP that is specifically car related. Um, and we're very interested to see what's going to happen in terms of mergers and acquisitions or partnerships between major traditional automotive players and these new communication technology companies.